up, y'all? Yeah, we back. Alan Poe, TJ Bay, talks about the hours. Hey, let's get into it, man, because, you know, me and you had a, a real good discussion about um, the media and how they tend to embellish stories. So go ahead. Well, as you can see in our backgrounds again, we want I want to address Skip Bayless because this old crusty ass dude just keeps spewing out the same garbage over and over again, every a different day on this show. And I don't mean to bash him like that, but I'm just actually tired of you know hearing him and his takes and stuff like that. The media nowadays, and I'm talking about the old media, I guess now because it's we're considered the new media, but uh, the old media now is just a bunch of you know older dudes just coming up, creating their own narratives and just discussing them. And people are s still just eating them up and giving them views and stuff like that. What is it when Skip Bayless and Nick Wright and all these people talk about you know certain people? What is this? What do they say? I bet you can almost predict what they are going to say about each person they talked about. Why are we still listening to this? Because it's sports. It's sports, but there are so many other uh, outlets now. We have YouTube. We have, um, I want to say this to shout out the microphone because that dude, uh, he, whenever there's a sports update and shit like that, he's on it. And, like, I have started to listen to people like that now, more so than undisputed i would listen i would watch undisputed a lot more if shannon had someone else to talk to besides skip bayless i think i'm done with skip bayless well we we kind of touched bases on this uh i want to say probably a couple of episodes back it's all about right. content man like no matter what you're always going to hear these same stories okay it's going to end up being dallas cowboys the Los Angeles Lakers, the New York Yankees, and whatever team is hot at the moment. And that's what, that's what moves the needle. Those are the most franchise and storied teams. Oh, and the Green Bay Packers. Those are the most franchise story teams. So no matter what, you're going to hear about that until you pass away. Okay. So now during the off season where there is no sports, this is what bothers me and this is what I would like to address too is because now I see a lot of this KD trade talk and like so many uh, you know episodes of ESPN is where is KD going where is KD going where is KD going where I mean why isn't anybody asking what's KD actually saying because Woj Woj uh, you know and <laughs> and I mean, what's his name as uh, RB uh, Rick Butte Rick uh, damn it who's he, who's he um, who's he follow right now he's on first take and all that he's Rich Butte it's Rich Butte uh, who you mean Mad Dog no or, not Mad Dog I can't stand Mad Dog yeah either. Mad Dog sucks but you know but all I'm just saying is these people on ESPN, they talk as if they know what these players are actually thinking. And when you hear them say their, you know, takes, it's always like, well, such and such is going to do this, but he did this and such and such and this, and his family felt he should do this. And his head was in this place. And I'm like, good Lord, how the hell do they know all this? And I haven't heard, and it's the age of Twitter where you can just go on to a, a you know, a, a player's profile and t he'll tell you exactly what you want to hear or what you want to say. So what I was thinking was in the off season, do the players, are the players under contract to be quiet and let ESPN create these narratives and say things to where it just comes up with these storylines. And, and so I don't think I don't think it's ESPN nor is it uh, Skip and Shannon. Excuse me. I don't think they're making these stories up. I think these NBA players they have agents. 
so what the agents do is they seep out a little bit of information here, a little bit, you know, and a little bit there, and they're the ones who pick up on it and create a story out of it because of the information they're being told. Like, you know, just like um, in the NFL, what, what's the the guy from the NFL? <coughs> Wojnowski? Uh, mm-hmm. No, not, not Woj. Uh, uh, I can't think of his uh, name. Ian Rappaport. R- Rappaport, right? So what, yeah. what's, what's the first thing they say? My sources are telling me. And my sources, right. right. So, so then by them saying my sources, it can't come back to them as them trying to create a story or trying to create a timeline because they put that disclaimer out there. But then they, they can, anybody, <laughs> any source could be some, you know, a little news and someone could be like, uh, oh, hey, Katie was, he was thinking about going to the Orlando, I mean, Orlando Magic. And then, oh shit, then you see all these fucking things coming up, popping up. Katie's going, then Shannon, Skip and Shannon have to talk about it. I don't want, and then Shannon and Skip, I mean, well, Shannon's kind of, you know, objective. He usually comes with different content, but Skip says the same, same damn thing every single time. But then who's putting these, but see, like you really can't blame these talk shows because it's it's also been shown that these teams are putting out information as well. Like, oh, hey, sudden you know the Phoenix Suns are interested in KD. Like, who wouldn't be interested in KD, for instance, right? So, what? if they're interested in KD, why not get the deal done and surprise everybody? Then just say, oh yeah, we're interested too. We have a package lined up. It's really like my point is this. Okay, what you're saying makes sense, but other people say different things when it comes to these subjects all i'm saying now is and i'm addressing the the one person that's on the uh, in both of our uh backgrounds right now is it's the same stuff and same content every so you're, single okay time. so what you're saying is he it doesn't matter what the stories it's all right it does he does the narratives <laughs> The narratives can change, the storylines can change, but he says the same exact stuff all the time. And it's been getting to the point to where I literally might want to fight the dude if I see him. Well, I mean, but it's kind of, okay, it's kind of like someone always saying the same thing, right? And they're wrong 100% of the time. Yeah, but that, right. But that one time but, they're correct. It's like, I told you. See, you right. don't want to listen to me when I was telling you guys this. It was like, yeah, but you've been wrong for eight years straight. Yeah, but I was right today. Yeah, I, or I was, or you remember the back in 2015 when that one time right. when I was right? Yes. <laughs> right? Right, yeah. Remember, I predicted that, and then you keep referring back to that every single take that you have on the show for the next 12 years. Like, you know, what are we doing what are Michael, we doing like what what i don't appreciate or what i don't like about these talk shows is the way they're able to attack a situation over and over and over yeah, exactly and and when i say attack i mean not only attack okay if you're not playing well if your game sucks i get it but they they seem to attack the person themselves you know what I'm saying? So it's like, right. wh- where do we draw the line? How how is wh- how is that sports related when you're talking about someone on you know outside of the game they're playing? Right. <laughs> and that's where I think that you know maybe if people were allowed to get a little physical, man, there wouldn't be so much killings in the world because some of these people need to get hands put on like. There was the instance where, you know, Skip kept calling Russell Russell Westbrook, like it, it's so ingrained in the Westbrook, right. like. And then once Russell Westbrook came out and said, "Hey man, you know, it's my family and all that stuff," and then he invited him on his show, and then gonna have the nerve to call him scared because he didn't want to go on the show and dress him up. And I will say this. I, I make fun of Russell Westbrook in my own sense, but there's a line that I do draw in it too. It's a, it's only about basketball and it's fashion because if there's some shit I ain't gonna lie, because I'd be like, uh, like what's going on on Russell? Like, 
But for this man to invite him on the show and then call him scared because he doesn't want to come on the show and do all that because he wants to call him Westbrook on the show is absolutely ridiculous. It's demeaning. And if he did do that, I know Russell Westbrook would probably punch him straight in the face as being on that show. But couldn't you also say that these players are being hypersensitive? Think about it. 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 So think about how many times we made fun of players that we played with or played against and we call them names and like, oh, look at this dude. Look at this. Look at that. Right. And you stay on it. Like we we've given players that we know certain nicknames. Right. But dude, okay. So, so the whole point is. But they didn't get mad and be like, oh, fuck y'all and, and try to fight everybody. Like you just came but, to territory. But the, it's the, the whole point is like we played with those players. We were on the, you know, we were on the field, or whether it be the field, the court, whatever, we played with them. Okay. Isn't that worse? For some, no, it's not. Because what if some dude from the outside who didn't ever play before was the one getting on you and was talking all the mess and was saying, like, oh, you suck at this and you, you know, what, yada, 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 yada. And then you're looking at him like, motherfucker, you, like, when we was in high school playing, like, Nigga, you was playing chess and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So how are you going to talk down to us like this? <laughs> you know well, what I'm saying? Yeah, talking down, is it, I feel that's wrong. But it, everyone's entitled to have an opinion, and everyone's entitled yeah. to say how they feel. Now, when you're, you know, calling names. But see, see, okay, so we get mad about Skip Bayless talking about Westbrook, right? Okay. I get it. But, but, but why is it no one gets mad when Charles Barkley calls Anthony Davis street clothes? <laughs> because Charles Barkley played. It's a different. That's the thing is, is it's see when you play and you and you talk about someone playing because it's cap. When you played and you ain't talking about and I mean excuse me when you haven't played. And you're talking about somebody that is playing, and not just the playing, not just playing, but playing at one at the highest level in the world that you can play at. Because mm-hmm. there's, <laughs> but that's, I mean, yeah. Regardless if you play in the league or not, does that still give you the right to tease and call somebody a name? No, it doesn't. Well, I, no, it doesn't. But it, I will say this too, also that. If we did cap or, you know, those players that we chose to get on, they also had a choice to lose whether they was going to fight. And it, we seen it happen. We seen people get joked on and they came to blows. So why isn't it okay for this to happen? Why can't somebody just put their hands on skip? Yeah. Uh, it's too much money involved, man. Like, it's really worth it. See, he wants the, these ratings and stuff. They oh, come on the show and let me come on the show. But, but see, I slap you. But but that's part, I mean that's a part of their job is to cre- is to create stories and to get ratings. If they're not talking about things that are relevant, then no one's going to watch their show. And people okay. watch the show to hear Skip Bayless's outlandish takes and and Nick Wright's outlandish statements. Okay, right. So so if, if not, just, well, okay. Uh, if that's what they come to hear. Wait, I'm gonna say this real quick, and I don't mean to. I got to add this in because if you believe what they actually say, because then you're not a sports enthusiast. You're just watching sports because these these two come up with the most cockamamie fucking takes that you can ever come up with. But some people but, watch them be, because they make these outlandish statements, and it's entertainment. It's entertaining to them. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I can't believe you said that. True, true. Right? It is. So, so it if, is. if enough people watch but, you because they love these outlandish takes, what are you gonna keep doing? Making outlandish, outlandish takes. takes. You're not just gonna be like, but, oh, let me switch it up. Well, let me say this: you want to talk about ratings and stuff like this. So, how would you? How would the ratings go? Say if someone came on Skip Bayless's show and ended up slapping the taste out of his mouth. You think the ratings would be bad? You think they would tank after that? No, hell no. no. So, 
But the only problem is people, because people will now watch the show to see if someone else comes on and, and slaps and slaps them. them. Yep, and that, there's your ratings. Yeah, I'll right. take those ratings. I'll take those. So I'll so, watch so, it for that. So no, okay. So you being a host of a of a talk show, basically, this yep. is what you do, right? So in order to get ratings, you would you know you make statements. Previously, we were talking about um, Dwayne Wade and like Gabrielle Union, right? So. Right. If one of them came on to talk to us in person and they got up and slapped you, would you take those ratings? See, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, you're gonna fight back, but I mean, like, if it's for, okay, yeah, if it's for ratings, would you be like, oh, you just yeah, it's cool, yeah. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like, oh know, man, okay. It, it's all about now. We gonna go back. Let's, it's let's all go about back. people. It's all about what what people want and what they feel they need to do to succeed in something. So if okay, you're going so, to get slapped on national television, and if you feel that's what can raise your stock price and raise ratings, and that's what you feel is best, if that's what you want to do, getting slapped, then go ahead and do it. Yeah, but all I'm just saying is no. Okay, to answer your question, no, no, if someone slapped. Yeah, I wouldn't take it for ratings. I would, yes, I would talk shit. And if they chose to try to slap me, then we'd be fighting. And um, so, just in Skip Bayless's room, like he's egging these people on. You are like, somebody's gonna really come up there and hurt this man. And <laughs> and <laughs> and I'm just saying, like, I'm just saying, like he. Like the line has to be drawn, and the reason for this episode is <laughs> I'm drawing the line for this. No, we don't have thousands of people watching this, but guess what? It's got to start somewhere, and <laughs> my foot's in the dirt because right now. But but see, now you really can't. You can't try to limit what someone can say because now you're no, I'm not you're going against their, their freedom of speech, right? Which is why they have these jobs. That's why anyone can speak how they freely the way they want to, cause, because we have the freedom of speech. So right. now, if you try to stop that, now you're infringing on their freedom of speech, and that's so. Not right. I'm breaking their I'm breaking their laws. Well, some say laws must be broken, but what I'm saying. Well, is anyways, that, that I know what you you're point, saying. That gives you the point to say whatever you want to say, right? Freedom of speech. Yeah, and it also gives a point to the, for people to react to what you hey. say, however you want to. Say, I mean, how they want to react. If so, you don't like, if you don't, like think somebody, is, if you don't like what somebody says, get over it or prove them wrong, or slap the taste out of their mouth. Okay, but does that mean that their point was proven? If you choose to go slap them because of something they said, look at your gameplay. They called you Westbrook because you were shooting jump shots over yeah, the backboard, over. guys. They're true. So but let then let Charles Barkley call him Westbrook. Let Shaq call him Westbrook. But okay, so you're saying okay now. I'm saying okay. Can, he can came Shannon, up with the name. He can came Shannon, up, Can Shannon call him Westbrook? He came up with the name once. Okay, you can say it like okay. Just be like oh, yeah, I came up. I came up with. I came up with Westbrook. Now everybody else is calling him that. Mm -hmm. Incredible people that played the game, you know, are calling them Westbrook. I shouldn't be calling them Westbrook now because I never played the game. But can but, Shannon, okay, but can Shannon call him Westbrook? Shannon played professional sports at the professional level, so he can, but at the same time, he should. Like, <laughs> say, man, the whole. <laughs> The whole point is because, yes, there's freedom of speech, but you're missing the point of uh, people are missing the point. What I'm saying is there has to be a draw to line. I mean, there has to be a line, a, dry, a, a line drawn. Right. Because this is why people get to, you know, doing that, that extra shit. This is why shit gets physical, and this is why it, it also even escalates into gunplay because of this. But I, I mean, I understand what you're saying, but I, I don't give a pass. Just because they played the sport, it doesn't mean you get a pass to call somebody whatever you want to rather than someone who didn't play the sport. I see it as capping. 
and we all been through it when we were young. Like I said, like just like you said, if you was playing when we was on the team and somebody sucked, you know what? We got on. But they knew it was okay because the people that were they were playing like you know most of the time they looked up to us or you know they knew that we were good enough to say what we were saying to them and they knew their place so all i'm just saying is don't be surprised if this dude gets you know is not his lights knocked out <laughs> and that is the ratings that i want to see if he does i mean if it does resort to violence it won't be on the show it'll be on violence it'll, it, it, it'll yeah. be behind closed doors it won't be in public okay we gotta we gotta separate this here because violence there's violence which is getting shot and you know no nah, violence guns. is violence you can't i mean it's all violence. I mean, there's different uh, levels there's different levels of violence but violence is violence fighting is not uh fighting and defending yourself i don't consider violence i'm sorry but see, you can't put a. It's still a violent act. You you, you can't put a label and saying in your eyes it defending is. yourself isn't violence. No, it's still violence if you punch somebody in the face for what they said. It's still violent. In your eyes, okay, yeah, it's violent. In my eyes, it's not. So then, I guess I'm a violent person. So if someone attempted to break into your home and and try to murder you, right? God forbid but you were able to um, disarm them and murder them. Now, yes, it was self-defense, but you still committed an act of violence. Okay, so this is this is what would separate me is because if I did disarm them, I, murder would not be in my mind. So it is, I've never thought like that. I'm not the person to like beat somebody up and then when they're down, I kick them, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So. If that was the case, then <laughs> whoever came into my house and I did disarm, because yes, I was slap, I would make them pay for coming into my house, but I would not think about killing them. Okay, but you would attempt to slap them up, rough them up, right? Yeah. That, that's still a violent act. To you. No, it's to everybody. I mean, it's still nah, violent. I mean, it's still see, violent. This, no, now you're talking you, like Gabriel. You what are you saying? Talking about? All men you like put, you a booty old look. But no, it's not a violent act to me. <laughs> it's okay. To if you. someone comes into my house <laughs> and, and you know, they chose to, they want to rob me and shit like that. And I chose to be the, and, you know, and I'm defending myself, the, you know, the sanctity of my home and I'm making them touch everything in my home. I don't see, consider that violent. Now, You're if he home. came in, right. But if he came in and he needs, just cut my throat and shit like that. That's violence to me. So, so your definition is if someone, if it, ha if no one, so if someone doesn't fight back, so if something happens to somebody or a crime is committed against them, that's violence. But if you're able to defend yourself and beat somebody up, that's not violence. Yes, that is my definition of it. <laughs> Al. Right, hey, I'm just saying, violence is violence, man. All right, I, 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 understand, Al, I, understand, I understand what you're saying. That's why I, I understand yeah, what you're but, saying, but you have to understand the definition of violence, my nigga. Like, it's still a violent act you're you're committing. I get it that you're protecting yourself. That's self defense, but it, yet it's still violent. It's still a violent act that you're that you're doing. I see. I separate the two between violence and self-defense. There's a separation for me. For you, it's just that anything is violence <laughs> that involves physical altercation. But so, okay, so MMA, boxing, right? That's not violence to me. So hitting somebody and, and choking them and slamming them and breaking their arms, that's not violent? That's not violence? To me, no. Okay, because because it, it's it, it's part it's of the rules. It's allowed. It's right. part of the rules. Because it, okay, it's allowed. It's a sport. It's allowed. Okay. So, whatever happens to Skip, I don't consider violence. 
to make this <laughs> this this some um, this shit all up. <laughs> Whatever happens to these sports casters that want to create these narratives and stuff like that, and then when these players get fed up and they do see them on the street and something does happen, man, don't go pressing charges and shit like that. You ask for it, cause so just take it like a man, cause and then either keep doing what you're doing and keep getting your night uh, lights knocked out, or cause or change up your fucking ways and start you know doing it. Savannah, speaking your opinion. But keep doing it carefully. So whatever happened to sticks and stones? Man. I- I'm just asking a question. Sticks and stones. Sticks and stones. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh. So, okay. So if someone was talking mess about you, right? It depends, because if I can defend myself with no, no, words no, no. and or oh. Okay, but that's what if I'm saying. Can, they're using words. They're not using. They're not physically harming you. They're just talking shit. But like you said, it goes, it goes back to capping. You keep, if if you're in the circle and let's say okay, you're right. able you're, okay. You're, okay. you're able to cap on this one person, right? Yeah. And you're bagging on them, so you feel good about yourself. But then the popular dude starts ragging on you, and you have nothing else to say because he's just tearing you alive. What you gonna do? Start fighting now? That happens, yes, but. No, you got to learn to defend yourself (laughs) with words, with words. Okay. But that's, that's (laughs) not this case. That's a good example, but it's not in this case. So sensitivity uh, can be said for, can be go both ways for this. You can be sensitive that someone is talking about you or you can be sensitive that someone chose to whip your ass for you talking about them but Mm -hmm. the whole point is man (laughs) is stop creating narratives stop doing all these hypotheticals stop doing these hot takes and shit like that speak for real don't speak in the past don't speak about shit that you was right about 20 years ago and you want to hold on to it and shit like that Mm -hmm. Don't come up with these cockamamie ass, uh, uh, what is it, top 50 teams and shit like that, knowing that people are going to, um, you know, react to them in a certain way because, of it. like, just talk normal. And I'm not we, trying to. But we just did a whole episode about the GOAT. Yes. And and whenever you talk about the goat, that's going to bring up conversation, and some people will agree with it, some people won't. So, but the whole point is, and I made this completely clear: it's not a hot take. What I was saying was not a hot take. It's how I really feel. It's not just out the air to make people think and want to listen to me and want to react to me and shit like that what I was saying is what I really feel but and what that's if, what I do when I do these episodes but what if Skip really feels like that then he should make that let that be known <laughs> let, let that be known man. Cause, cause like I said just say it's not a hot take or just like cause I don't really feel like he feels I do feel like he feels some of these things he says, but mm. when he talks about certain people, it's just stubbornness. He knows people knows how he's going to react. So he sticks to it and shit like that. And it's for writings. You're right. But some people are starting to see through that BS. And so, yeah. So, yeah. So to wrap it up, just be mindful about what you say, I guess. I guess. Right. Because it all depends. I mean, you know, violence is violence, but sometimes violence isn't violence. Yeah. Someone can punch you in your throat just for some shit you say. (laughs) And it won't be considered a violent act. (laughs) All right, I'll go ahead. All right, yeah. Hey, <laughs> thank you guys once again for listening to Talking Spout the Hours. We're your host, TJ Bain, Ellen Poe. If you like it, you like it. If you love it, you love it. Don't commit violent acts. Peace. Defend yourself. <laughs>